games. You're in the game. <laughs> What's up y'all, it's I'm All Thumbs, and today I'm here to sort out some of the trouble players are having getting an open NAT type on Infinite Warfare. Even if they previously forwarded ports to Black Ops 3, like me. Not to worry, there's a simple solution. Infinite Warfare added one additional port, and once it's forwarded, you'll be open and loving it in no time. If you're already familiar with port forwarding, I'll save you the tutorial section of the video, and just tell you the ports you need to forward to your console are 3074, 3075, and 3076. I went with TCP and UDP. Previous versions of Call of Duty required 3074 and 3075. 3076, however, was added with the latest release. Okay, now that the know-it-alls are out of the room, let's get down to forwarding ports. First, you'll need to access your router. If you have Comcast like me, you'll want to open a browser on a tablet or computer that is connected to your network. Type in the address bar 10.0.0.1. If you don't have Comcast, just Google default IP and the name of your ISP. Then type that info into the address bar. The default password and username can be found with Google, but if you're on Comcast, the username is admin and the password is password. Now that you're inside, click connected devices on the left and locate your Xbox or PS4. Push the edit button next to it. We're going to give your device a static IP so your router will know where to send the packets. Where you have a choice between DHCP and uh, Reserved IP, pick Reserved IP. Now in the IP address bar, edit the numbers after the last period. It can be any number between 0 and 255, but pick a high one to avoid any possible IP conflicts. Here I use 70, as it's unlikely I'll ever have 70 devices on my network. Remember the number you pick. Now click Advanced, then Port Forwarding in the navigation menu. Click Enable, then click Add Service. Fill in the boxes as I have done here, and remember to use the same number in the last server IP box as you used on your console static IP address. Click Save. Now restart Call of Duty and pop into the multiplayer menu. Your NAT type should read open. Enjoy your game. A quick finishing note. You will likely see other ports listed on other posts. These are not required, and in some cases, such as port 53 and 88, they can actually cause conflicts on your network or, or security concerns. Nonetheless, if this doesn't work for you, they're worth a try. I hope this video helped everybody out, and I'll catch you on the next one.